Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the third generation learning nest, which is somewhere here or there, somewhere right behind me, and how to mess up several times along the way, which is not fun in Texas in the summer heat. So let's get right into it. First things first, let's see what we got in the box. Nest? Yep, that's important. Instructions and warnings? Nope, won't be using those. And behind that are the rest of the pieces and the tools that I need to put this together. But I won't be using that screwdriver because I don't hate myself. Last, we have some wall plates in here. The white one I'm guessing is to cover up large holes left behind by your old thermostat. And the steel one is for securing to metal. Uh, I was confused by this, so I looked it up and apparently some thermostats attach directly to the electrical boxes hence the metal mounting plate. Now you know. So, what now? Okay, so it turns out I did need the instructions because I've never done this before. Lucky for me though, the Nest app actually has pretty good instructions for installing the thermostat. That means that this time I don't have to heavily rely on Reddit. So first step according to this app is to turn off the power. My girlfriend is paranoid someone is going to shut off our power and murder us in the middle of the night. So let's see if I can remember the code. Great, that worked. So time for our first mistake. I'll let you guess what I did wrong here, but it ends up making this whole thing take three times as long. While you're guessing, I'm just gonna mention that the breakers for my 220 volt equipment is outside. Yours might not be. So let's shut off the power to the breaker, conveniently labeled AC. Labels are always good, always over label. Okay, let's take the front of the old thermostat out. There's two little notches on the bottom that let me slide something flat inside to unhook the cover. Next, I'm going to do the right thing for once and take a picture of the wiring. This is something I've learned working with electronics, circuit boards, cars, and motorcycles, anything with wires. You should be taking plenty of photos because you're going to forget or your labels are going to fall off. Always assume the worst. In fact, the Nest app actually had a step for me to take a photo but I had already done it by the time that that step came up in the app, so I was set. Okay, now let's take the old base off the wall. You know how I said earlier I would use my own tools? Well, I was too lazy to walk into the garage and just grab a screwdriver, so I ended up using the Swiss Army knife I already had in my hand. Probably should have just used the one that they gave me instead, but oh well. Okay, base is off, now let's remove those wires. It's always handy to have a little flathead screwdriver for dealing with these screw terminals. And with a little persuasion, we can finally take that old base plate off. Now it's time for the new base. If you didn't guess yet what I did wrong earlier, I'll give you a hint. This is around the time I break something. So theoretically, the folks who installed this thermostat should have put the screw right into a stud. But I never trust that someone I don't know did something correctly, so I'm going to just make sure that there's actually a stud there myself. Okay, quality confirmed, I can place the new screws in the same place, which is good because I didn't want to cover up the old holes. Something that I really like about the way they designed the base is that they have a level right on there so that I can line things up now and I don't have to sit there trying to level it out later, take the display off, put it back on again until it gets straight, which would be very hard because the nest is round and you can't really put a level properly on it anyway. Okay, time for the fun part, putting the wires back into the right place. Time for my handy dandy photo. Now, something I didn't expect, which I should have, is the labels don't exactly line up. This is where the internet comes in handy, to double check that you're putting the wires into the right places. The app tried to put info in there, but it's not enough to make me feel more than 80% sure that I have all the wires in the right place. The nice thing about the Nest base is that I don't need a screwdriver to secure the wires back in. These are all push release. Pro tip here, don't do this with your fingers. After fumbling around for a while, I got my small pliers to help me persuade the wires into the right slots. Okay, wiring's all done. Now let's just turn the power back on and we can plug the thermostat in. Uh, like I said, all done now. It's time to... 
Hey, turn on. Uh, please turn on. Maybe if I blow on this like a Nintendo game. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. I know what to do. Let's get the multimeter out. Now, I make yet another crucial mistake here, but it doesn't actually affect anything. See if you can spot it this time. Okay, so there's no power here. Well, I definitely turned the breaker back on, so... Okay, let's go look at the other controller plugged into the handler. You see, under the handler, I have a controller, and it opens up a vent every hour that lets new fresh air into the house. So we can see that this doesn't have power either. Next bright idea, let's open up the handler and see what I can find. Well, I know that this brown wire is the same color as the wire coming out of the wall at the thermostat, and it's coming from the right direction. Okay, looks like this is where all the different color wires break out, and they do match up to what I'm seeing at the thermostat as well. Red is almost always power, you should hope. And hey, look at that, the fuse is blown. Well, after a trip to the hardware store, I'm ready to put the new fuse in. Now let's go back and check the power at the thermostat. Uh, nothing. No, that, that definitely should have worked. Yeah, there's power here at the vent controller. So what the? Oh, I'm an idiot. The handler is providing AC power, not DC to the thermostat. So I need to make sure that my multimeter is set to the AC setting, not the DC. Okay, so 28 volts, that looks right. Now it's time to close the handler back up. Why are there so many bolts? I mean, yeah, I get it. It needs to be sealed, but come on, man. Well, yeah, I guess the average homeowner shouldn't be blowing fuses all the time. Oh well, moving on. Okay, let's plug the nest back in. I left it on the charger because I thought maybe that would do something, so it's already on. Oh, it's doing something. And glorious success. Okay, before we continue with the setup, let's talk about that first big mistake I made. So, in my house at least, the HVAC system uses two breakers, one for the AC unit and another for the air handler inside, which I guess is known as a furnace too. I only turned off the AC unit earlier and not the furnace. Therefore, I shorted those wires when I was installing the new base and blew the fuse. So it's really important, make sure you turn off all of the breakers to all of the units that run your HVAC system. Okay, back to the setup. So of course we select the language, connect it to the internet. Now for some of these other questions, if you're not super familiar with HVAC systems, I know I'm not, then there is usually a more info or I don't know button, which gives you some advice. Now, these aren't the greatest. Sometimes they give you enough info, but I ended up looking online just to make sure on forums and other places because I didn't want to mess anything up or blow anything else up. So don't worry, always look for more info if you're not sure, you don't want to mess up these steps. Now, when it gets to the questions about the temperature and how the nest is going to operate, it's a little less important. You can change those later, like the eco settings, stuff like that. Once you think you're done, you always want to run a sanity check. So I'm going to run a test. I'm going to run the fan quickly and make sure that everything is working right. And after a tense two seconds, I heard it click on. Perfect. We're finally done and it couldn't have come at a better time because it's starting to get really hot in this house. I'm sweating. I'm sweating bad. Okay, let's send it back to myself for some closing notes. Welcome back. So what did we learn today? Well, make sure you turn off all the breakers. There should probably be more than one. As you saw, I had two, one for the AC unit outside and one for the air handler inside. Also, make sure you have spare fuses on hand because I did it and then I had to make a trip to the hardware store. In fact, I still don't have enough fuses on hand. I need to go back and get some more. Otherwise, it was a pretty easy install. The app made things very simple. It was well explained along the way. I only had to look up a few things on the internet like the wiring diagram because things were labeled a little bit differently and also some of the settings during the setup. Anyway, I hope I made things pretty clear on how the whole thing is done. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you follow the instructions and turn off all the breakers. Anyway, until next time. Whoa.